better? Maybe one day I'll just do an ASMR or just a silent live feed. Hello, Paula, Gigi, Brittany. Sorry about that audio issue. I put my mic on and didn't turn it on, so that's exciting. So you can see, I hope, those swirls that are just around. You can see them. They're, they look almost like fishing line wire. That's from scraping off of the sides. If you don't get that mixed in, your piece may not cure properly. So you always have to make sure you get those edges. So are you guys almost ready for Christmas or whatever holiday um, during this time of year that you celebrate? I wish I was more educated on all the different festivities this time of year. I'm going to learn them all eventually. Today's just not the day. All right. Um, so that's the Istelio stand mixer. You can get it on Amazon. I have my Amazon link down in the description box under this video. If you want to check out uh, the Istelio stand mixer. But like I said, it's great for doing most of the hard work but then you really need to make sure you scrape the sides, the bottom, and the stir stick um, that you're using. I'm not using our patented stir sticks today because I'm running low. You guys have been buying them up during our tiered sale special. Um, I think it's self-explanatory, but if you have any questions, let me know. And for every $50 spent, you get a scratch-off ticket, which are a hit every year. We have some really awesome prizes to give away this year as well. I'm still trying to see if I can get um, Istoyo to sponsor one of the giveaways. And I will update the prize list as I know something. So... Um, I had a private one-on-one -on -one class yesterday, and my lovely student made this geode, and I was super inspired by it, so I'm going to do a black, white, and gold geode with you guys here today. So first things first, this is our geode freeform cradle board. It's got a lift in case you want it to be a centerpiece, and it's got this routed out edge so that you can mount it on a wall. I'm going to use some mirrored, uh, fire. excuse me, I still don't have, <clears throat> I still have a little bit of a tickle from the cold that I've, Jeff and I have been suffering from. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but what I'm doing is adding mirrored fire glass. Oh yeah, because I I'm running short on my non-mirrored fire glass. I usually don't use the mirrored ones because they, I don't know why, but I usually don't. I think I like just the iciness of the other kind better. So let's get to mixing. I'm going to do black, white, I think a translucent, and a gold. So... Black, white, translucent, and a gold. And then I have some resin left that I'm going to use to bond my fire glass down. You can get all these products that I'm using today on my website, artistildeath.com. And you may as well go ahead and use these super awesome sales and discount codes that we have going on right now because why not? Uh, 
Yeah, I've been struggling with a bit of a cold, but we're getting better. We're getting there. Okay. So I'm going to do an opaque white. With, um, I'm using Lares Angel White, but I'm out of it. If you like this white, I have in stock currently while I'm talking um, titanium from Just Resin, which is very, very similar. I am using Black Passion Paste from Color Passion for the black. I do have that in stock. And I'm using Color Passion Old Gold for the gold. Now, when I do gold, I always super overload my gold. I just, I get better results that way. And it just, for me, it works better. Some people say it's wasteful. I say I'm thorough. But, you know, to each their own. I just don't want to get stuck with a translucent or faded or dull color payoff because I didn't add enough pigment. Obviously you can put a little bit, mix it and see what it looks like and then add more if need be. Obviously you can add as much as you want. It's impossible to take it out, at least to my knowledge. It, you know, people may have found a way to take color out of resin, but I don't know. And I haven't figured it out. So science. All right, so we're gonna make this white opaque. It is not. So we need to add a little bit more. If you use paste, don't double dip because you will end up with a beautiful puck. Your paste will solidify because of the Ingredients in your resin makes the paste cure. I don't know all the science behind it, but I do know that don't make that mistake. Don't ask me how I know, just I know. The black is also gonna be an opaque shade. I want it to be midnighty as midnight black can be. TG, I love the moose sticks. I just got some of those back in stock. And I'm going to half some of this into here because I have just decided that I want to have also a gold glitter. I usually don't use glitter, 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 but I feel like today's a good day for glitter, glitter, glitter. Anytime I mix in a mica or a glitter, I kind of just, you just, you have to just fold it in. You just right up and over until your shirt's not going to puff out in your face. That way you reduce the amount of mica and or glitter that's going to be floating around in the air. Okay, so I'm going to put just a little bit of my opaque white into my clear that I have left, and that's going to be my translucent. By translucent, I mean I want to be able to just barely see through um, the res. It's kind of like the, a frosted glass look. Like if something was standing behind it and it was on a clear background, you'd be able to make out a shape, but not details. Transparent is when you can make out details. Translucent is where you can see that there's a figure, but not what it is exactly. Hope that makes sense. All right, let's get this party started. Okay, to start, I'm going to put gold around my center because that's just my process. I always like to have in the center a really bright metallic color. And I haven't poured it all the way into the center because I guess you guys can see pretty well. I haven't poured it all the way into the center because it's gonna run and move into the center anyways. I'm trying to just buy myself some time before that happens. I also leave a good size gap in between my colors so that I can fill it in myself. 
when you first pour out resin, it's going to pour out, depending on the viscosity of your resin, at um, a quarter inch, but resin self levels at an eighth inch. So I'm going to kind of manually self level it where I need it to be uh, in a moment. You can already tell I made too much resin. So we may be making coasters. I have some handy just in case. Now let's use some of our translucent white. That's gonna look really cool if I can get it tilted over the stark black that we have put down. Also, I kind of vary the weights of the lines that I put down. So the Gold is about a pinky. Some of the areas of the black are thicker than my thumb. Some of the areas of the white are thicker than even that. I like to kind of vary how thick of the lines are that I put down. And that is essentially a design element. It's a choice. Um, sorry, apparently I can't talk in poor gold. But you can do your lines, your shapes, however you want, obviously. And this is actually probably going to self-level all the way out to that edge, so I'm not going to really fiddle with that too much more. I'm going to take my star stick and just push the line of color till it meets the next line. And actually, actually, I'm going to put a coaster down where it's already breaking to try to catch, I don't know, maybe we'll put that one there. Try to catch any overflow and that'll go ahead and be the base of any coaster that we get to do. So I'm just doing little two tiny circles to kind of match up one line to the next one. And I also use this time to um, pull any resin off if it's a little bit too heavy. And I also will use this opportunity to add kind of different weight different motion into my lines. So some of the lines, I don't have that much. Um, like right here, it's just kind of a straight line. And I kind of want it to have a little bit of scallop. So I'll just use this time to add some scallops just by how I push one color into the next one. And it looks a little bit covered up there, but I think I'm going to swipe this one and you'll be able to see anything that we hid with this push. Uh, when we swipe it. Should I swipe it or should I use the heat gun? What do you guys think? In my head, I was going to swipe it, but I want to know what y'all think. Because I like painting what you guys want me to paint. That's my process. And I don't know if you saw what I just did, but I'm short on resin on this side, but I have kind of plenty over here. So I just skim basically just off the top and scrape it onto the area that I need it to be in. Because waste not, want not. All right. So we have the black put where we want it. Now I need to do that to the white. And this is the same process. I'm just pushing it into any voids. The idea is that we don't want any raw space in between the colors. And by raw space, I mean like dry canvas or the areas of the canvas that don't have any a resin on them yet. And it's okay if you are gonna swipe and you get kind of some color that trails into your, 
Hey, B, can you turn that down just a hair? It's okay if like this area, I kind of pulled some color back in. That is perfectly fine if you're gonna swipe. If you wanna keep your lines clean, then that may not be the best avenue. Shelly, you be super careful while driving. Hey, 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 everybody. So everybody's saying heat gun. So we'll do the heat gun. I happen to have one right here. It has the wedding cake attachment. And first things first, I'm going to pop the bubbles. That's going to allow me to see if I have anything floating in the piece, anything I need to address, pick out, or any spots that I didn't get um, the resin on. So I'm try to y'all zoomed in. Okay. I almost like it just like this, but we're gonna, as Rhonda says, take it to the next step. Now all of my V's are off. That's fine. Fine, it's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna push my white over the black. So I get this kind of ripply look. I don't think you guys are zoomed in as much as I need you to be. So I'm going to do low heat. I mean, high heat and low airflow on this bit. Just because I don't want um, too much happening. I want to be able to control the gold line that's behind it. Sometimes you have to use your face, and that's okay. Are you guys seeing the difference that happens when you, okay, when you heat the old gold, it kind of makes it turn from this, <gasps> I got resin on the mic, dang it, I don't even have a paper towel over here. Can you guys still hear me? It's been 47 years since I got anything dipped in resin. I leaned over to blow this field and um, the mic took a little dip, dip, dive. All right, so I guess that's where that happened. All right, so you can see this area, it's kind of speckledy right here, but solid over here. And that's because you can see by this effect that that's where the heat was going. So watch this gold when I put a whole bunch of heat on it. See how all the little particles come to the surface and it makes it kind of more solid. I love that about this color and the um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. This color and double is seven. I think I like the gold coming into the white and some into the black, so I'm gonna try to push more gold into that design. Mm. 
Yes. Yes. B, you would love this, just so you know. Oh, my goodness. So it's starting to drip here, and it looks just like molten gold drip, and I'm really digging it. So, okay. So I'm going to put just a little bit more gold here and just scoot it up to the edge and just let whatever drip down, drip down, because I love a gold drip. If you've been following our channel for any amount of time, you already knew that. I'm not telling you anything new. So I'm not forcing it down. I'm just filling up that edge so that should the resin want to, it can break that surface tension and go down. Additionally, you can see the new that I put in is darker than the gold that's there. And that's because I haven't hit the new with heat yet. So it hasn't floated to the surface. But when we add the heat, it'll match right up. I'm just trying to blow it a little bit over the edge. Give it a little help, a little help. B, you should come look at my this. Oh, I forgot I had. Let's have a look, see. Whoa. Should I add the gold glitter or no? Yes. That is. I want to make a toast with that. Mm. That takes me back to the old. The OG days. days. Yeah. Those old 19. 80s posters. That's what we should do. Just have a a set of gray right, Angie. Uh, glitter or not? Nah? Where? We sell that glitter. We do sell this glitter. We sell that gold. Yeah, it's old gold. Wow. And it went super molten, and I like the drippies wow. down. It's like. I want to. I want to add this, but I don't know where I could add it that it would help the piece rather than take away from the piece. I would put it just in these little spots, little bitty, just where it's like gathered, so it's like a special spot, not on this. I wouldn't put it on that. You're talking about pouring it into here? Yeah, just where it's like gathered here, maybe. Just maybe. Okay, we'll just try. Oh, that's a liquid. I thought that was like straight glitter. No, it is. Well, it's now, oh, it's oh now, gosh. it's now OBE. Well, show them what that looks like when that's happening. So I am using the Illumilite Quick Coat tonight. Yeah, and, and if it starts doing that, do not, don't try to use it. Yeah, it's Just getting gummy. Call it, mark it up to the game. Yep, charge it to the game. So no glitter in this one. Yeah, I wouldn't use glitter in that. That looks so classy. I am going to add glitter glass because what is a geoid without glitter glass, question mark? Now you have this like zoomed in, huh? I did have it zoomed in. Oh, it's not zoomed in? No, I did. It, it was. You just pinch it and it goes back. What caused the sales in the white? So, um, as TG mentioned, I am using the Color Passion Black Passion. And when you use a Color Passion paste and you manipulate another paste over it, that's going to give you the larger size cells. Put that, put that back over in front of that gold. No, go back. Put it, put it, bring it down and then come forward, right? Bring it down a little. I was showing them that you can see the reflection. But if I get it close enough, you'll be able to see the words. Yeah, kind of. But look at that. That's how 
amazing that gold is. You can see the reflection. Ugh. Got it. So, um, when you put another brand of paste over, I used a lot of heat here, so it's kind of starting to separate. Like lightning. Yeah. So typically when you do um, use a base cell activator like the Color Passion paste, you don't use that much heat. I typically stick to swipes when I do that. Sorry for the movement. But anytime you manipulate a, another brand of paste over a Color Passion paste, it will give you the larger cells. If you use less heat, it'll keep the cells that we had like 15 minutes ago, but I use so much heat that it's just, that. they're that's, kind of blurring a bit. That's, it's still my shadow, but you can still see my finger. Like that's my finger. Um, it's not a paste over a paste. It is a different brand of paste over a color passion paste. All color passion pastes are base paste except for the one labeled top cell white. The other ones other than a base cell white are not labeled as a base cell. I know it's confusing. But for example, this black passion is not labeled a base cell paste, but it is. As are all the other pastes um, that we carry by color passion are base cell. So for example, on this one, I manipulated the white that is not color passion over the black that is color passion and that's what gives us this reaction i don't mix any silicone into my resin i don't use alcohol spritz for cells it's just a factor of a paste with the magic in it being under a paste that doesn't have that particular magic in it um, if you put two color passion pastes over each other it will not work So I hope that makes sense. Shannon, you've got my number. If you need like a sidebar further explanation, I'm happy to give it to you. But I'm super pumped with how this piece turned out. I think I want to do a large scale piece. This one is an 18 inch cradle board. I think I want to do a monochromatic maybe 24 by 36. I think that would look amazing. Sorry, I couldn't do a whole bunch of coasters like I intended to. My resin set way faster than I thought it would. But if you're interested in a quick curing UV resistant epoxy, oh, it's like a calico cat. Um, then I recommend the Illumilite Amazing Quick Coat. Oh, now it makes me want to do smushes. Anyways. Um. Hi, Julie. Non-color passion paste over color passion paste. Yes. I typically do a swipe, which is why I have my swipey papers here. And I'll swipe, for example, with the colors I used tonight. I'll put a white. And then a, the color passion. Well, if we're going to do colors, we did tonight. So I did the white and then the black. And then I'll put my swiping paper down in the white and swipe it over the black. Hit it with just enough heat to pop the bubbles. You don't want to do any more than that because then your cells are going to kind of grow as the resin self levels because you've got it really thin from all the heat until the cells kind of break and dissipate a little bit. So you don't want to use a lot of heat when you use a base cell. I should have, if I wanted to keep the cells rigid, um, hit it with heat and then just use my face to kind of puff the waves of white over the black. That would have saved the amount of heat used and my cells would have stayed rigid. Laura Taylor, what's up, lady? How are you? A lot of you may not know, Laura Taylor, Artsy7 Studios is one of our og fam, and we love her, but she's always super busy with saving lives. 
This is what we did tonight, Laura. Very OG style geoid monochromatic. But I think it's super fun. You guys know what? Tomorrow is Canvas's birthday. Canvas, what are you doing? Did you know tomorrow's your birthday? Did you know that? She's like, awesome. Can I get some of those pretzels right there? Don't you do it. I'm watching you. Also, yes, that's because of her. Um, in other news, I'm working on this birch tree project to make them look like birch trees. This is essentially just a background with one tree done-ish. Also, my big boy. Don't mind my studio floor. It's a little bit of a mess because my husband got me a wheel. I've been trying to throw some wine glasses and they look like wine glasses until an actual wine glass goes next to it. <laughs> I was not paying attention. So essentially I have a bunch of tea light holders, but they're festive question mark. So yeah, I get to rethrow all of those. And if I had any more resin, I would do coasters with you guys, but unfortunately I do not. Um, just, are all CP base cell, or is that just flat colors without shimmer? Um, all of the CP paste, except for the one that says top cell white, are base cell. And that includes... The metallic so the metallic and the flat will both do the same thing i will say though that the flat ones tend to look nicer and the cells will grow bigger but the metallic ones still will do it thank you tg i'm so sorry your knee hurts laura but you see a smiley face in the coaster i do too boop 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 um, I can do, um, a live tomorrow, um, that shows the difference in top cell and base cell and just demos that if, if you guys like wine glass can be shaped however you like true sherry, but it's the, sh the three ounce size of the wine glass. That's not aesthetic for me. I mean, the shape I can deal with, but it's the size. So if you guys want to try out the Color Passion Black Passion, I don't have any Lorez White, but the titanium from Just Resin is very similar. The Old Gold by Color Passion, the Fire Glass, the Glitter Glass, the Geode Cradle Board, or coasters I didn't use. Uh, you can take advantage of these sales right here on my website, artistsildeath.com. Supporting a small business supports a dream. Just want to throw that out there. And for every $50 spent, you get a scratch-off. I got so many awesome prizes for scratch-offs. I can't even tell them all to you right now. You just have to check out my website, artistsildeath.com. Do you have to use high heat to get the cells? You do not. In fact... I would argue that the less heat that you use, the better your cells look because if you use too much heat, I did tonight, for example, um, your resin gets too hot. And when your resin gets hot, it's more fluid. And the more fluid your resin is, the more your resin will move. And so that will kind of stretch your cell to a point that it's just going to break. Um, these cells in this piece are quite large. They're, some of them are quarter size. Um, just to show you what the size of my finger is. They're quite large, and those are from using base cells. That's a 40-inch painting. And so the cells that are in it are quite large. Hope that answers the question. Laura, you're beyond bionic. That could be your next 
um, TikTok handle is just LT Beyond Bionic. You're welcome. TM. But tomorrow, Brittany, I will show you a step-by-step -step on how to best use the base cell and top cell to get awesome cells. If you guys want to tune in for that, it will be at 6 p.m. Central Mañana. But till then, I got to take these pups out because they'll get mad at me. Um, use these codes depending on what you guys invest in my website and pigments artisttilldeath.com. I have a link down in the description box. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Be safe out there. All the crazies doing last minute Christmas shopping. I haven't done all of mine yet. The struggle. And so anyways, those are the colors we used. These are the codes you should use. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 Central. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember... What are you doing? You can't go through there. We do the test so you don't have to. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. We said bye.